Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Python interview question for DevOps. And as you can see on my screen, today is day 10th. So today we are going to discuss about two very important programs that are asked in a DevOps interview or a Python interview question for developers as well, even if you are a fresher. Okay, so the first program would be an anagram. So how do you detect an anagram? So what exactly is an anagram? You need to understand that. So in language, in, in a definition, a word, phrase or a name formed by rearranging the letters of another such as spar formed from rasp so if there is a phrase or a word in which there are few few characters and then if you rearrange them that forms exactly the same uh, exactly the same then it would be considered as an anagram for example spar has four characters s p a n r and rasp has four characters again r a s p spar and rasp are formed from the same characters the number is four and rasp is in both of them so that would be that would be an anagram all right it may or may not make any sense uh, i mean the word the anagram may or may not become an, uh, create any sense but that would be an anagram all right so that's the property of anagram the second program which which we will discuss today is count occurrence of a character in a string so i'll be entering a string I'll be giving a character and then I'll be counting how many times that character has appeared in that string. For an example, here is a logic ops. So logic ops is a string L O G I C O P S. And in that we are, what we are going to do is we're going to pass a character, which is O and then we are going to count how many times it has appeared. So it has appeared twice, then two times would be the result. So these are the two programs that we are going to discuss today. So uh, if you're new over here, you know the drill that if you're not subscribed my channel yet, kindly do so. So without further ado, let's dive right into the demo part. Okay, so let us understand the first program, which is of anagram. So what I'm doing over here is I'm taking an input. Please enter a string one, which is I'm going to take inside this variable and string two str2 in this variable. And then I'm trying to show you what exactly is happening when you use sorted. Now sorted is a method that it that is used in Python. Okay, so let me just Google it and I'll show you what exactly it means. So uh, if you go over here and you look for sorted, it will show you that Python sorted function. If you want to sort a tuple or a tuple, you can do it that way. So basically what, it, what does it do? The sorted function returns a sorted list list this, pay attention to this word. Let me just expand it. List of the specified iterable object. You can specify ascending or descending order. Strings are sorted alphabetically and numbers are sorted numerically. Now what we are doing over here is we are sorting a string. So pay attention. It is going to return a list. All right. So let us go back. So we are going to enter a string over here and we are going to understand what is going to happen. I'm going to print string three. So in order to show you what exactly is happening. Now in this, if anagram check string one, a uh, string two, I'm going to make a call to this method. Okay. And then if it returns true, then probably it is going to print anagram and otherwise it is going to bring not an anagram. All right. So let us understand it. Okay. So if I run this program, this is zero one, hit tab and enter. So let us enter my bad. Sorry. Okay, so did you see what happened over here? I just gave a blank one. I did not give anything. I did not give in anything in the string two. It has printed an, an empty list from here, from line number 11, and then it is an anagram. Okay, but now I'm going to give a proper value. So let's see. I'm going to give a spar. Okay. And so the next one would be, let's say, P-A-R-S. Okay. Or just I'll give rasp. And you can see that what it has done, it has printed a sorted form. So when you use sorted, it is going to return a list of the iterable object. So APRS and you have read about it that when you do on numerical object, it will sort one, two, three, four, five, six from number. And then if you do for alphabets, it is going to do for A, B, C, D, F, H, E, I, F, G, F, G till Z. So A is the first one, P and R and Z and it has written anagram. Now, let us understand this program. So what it is going to do is we are just pushing string one and string two in this method. It is going to come over here. String one is what? Spar. String two is what? Rasp. Now, if and else we are using over here. So if sorted str1. 
So if you imply this sorted on string one, it is going to give you this. Okay. And when you do on string two, you do sorted over here, it is going to again give you this. Now, when these two will be compared, it is always going to return true because SPAR or PARS or any other four letter word that contains SPAR is going to be the same. Let us test one negative scenario. Okay. So let us run this. I'll give, let's say, Python. Okay. And we'll just do Yipon. And it is not an anagram. So what happens over here is h n o p r t h y this is the one which is this one and it has printed from here this is not equal to this so even if you sort it it is going to be different so i hope you guys have understood this anagram question this is a very famous question and a lot of people ask this question so how you do it just make sure that you know what sorted is because an interviewer can ask you cross questions on this like how does sorted works? How does it work on? It can work on ascending way or descending way. How do you do that? So that's on you. You have to Google it out. And then if you just hover over it, it will also going to show you the list, uh, the returning a new list containing all items from the iterable in ascending order. Okay. And how does it happens on number so that you can do and that is on you that you have to Google it out. So I hope you guys have understood it. If you have not understood it, just pick out pen and paper. Try to write your question. Try to write your answer, try to write your code and then understand and it would be much more easier for you. Okay, so let us clean this and understand the occurrence first. So now this program in which we are going to see the occurrence of a character. Okay, I'm taking my string, one string. So I'll be asking a user to please enter a string and then I'll be asking for a character. Okay, and then I'm going to count the occurrence of it. This is very famous question and through this question, a lot of people judge you, a lot of interviewers judge your understanding of the concepts, your understanding of for loop. There are multiple things that you can do in a program. For example, this is a for loop. You can look, use some other loop. Okay, so there are multiple things. There are multiple ways to solve a problem, not in just this program, in any other program. Okay, this is one of those examples. So I'm taking an input, my string over here. I'm taking a character over here. Then I'm making a count over here and this count will get a returned value from this function. Why? Because I'm calling this function with giving these two values, which I'm going to take from the input from from the user as an input. And once I do this call, this is my driver code. Okay, the code is going to make a call over here. The count here is zero. Now it is going to run a program, a run, run a loop for i in range. So I hope you know what is range range runs from one place to another uh, one one value to another value and len. So I hope you know what is a len function. If you do not, you can just Google it out. So let me type it len function in Python. Okay, so it will give you the length. Okay. I'm sorry, I typed it wrong. So let me just do this. So the function, let me just expand it. The function len is one of the Python built in function. You know what is a built in function and what is a user function. It returns the length of an object. For example, it can return the number of items in a list. You can use it with a function with many or different data types. Okay. So this is just for your refresh. Now inside my string, it is going to return the, it is going to take the number of the characters. Okay. So for example, let me run this program and will explain you. So this is zero two hit tab enter. So it is going to ask for the first one. So I'll give logic ops. So logic ops is how much? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm starting from zero. So that's not, that should not be it. Let me count it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight characters. Okay. Now I'm going to give over here is zero. So you can see that zero is counted for like how many times? Two times. So the answer should be two. And you can see that the total number of occurrence of zero is which is this my character. I think this is an extra space, but that does not matter. Zero is two. Now how it is calculating it that you have to understand. So let us understand this. So for I in range now for the first iteration, what happens over here is L E N four. So length of my string will give a value of four over here. Okay. So let me show you how this works. So the length will become how much Four. No, not four. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एट ओके ना वट विल हैपन आफ्टर दैट इफ माई स्ट्रिंग जीरो सो माई स्ट्रिंग इज द स्ट्रिंग दैट यू हैव एंटर्ड आई सो एट द फर्स्ट अकरेंस सो इट्स द फर्स्ट आइटरेशन सो वट विल हैपन एट द फर्स्ट आइटरेशन द वैल्यू वुड बी ऑफ आई वुड बी इट कम्स फ्रॉम माई स्ट्रिंग सो द वैल्यू वुड बी एल ओके सो एल वुड बी द वैल्यू ना वट विल हैपन इट इज गोइंग टू it is going to match the value of my care so my care is what o so is it equal no right it is it is not equal so like i'll just write any not equal so what happens when it is not equal it won't come in this line in sixth line because this will come only and only if the value of my string i is equal to my care which is zero and l does not equal to Zero, so not equal. So the value of count will remain what? Zero. So count will remain equal to zero over here. Now in the second iteration, the value will become from logic ops. It will become O. So in the second iteration, let us understand. In the second iteration, O will be equal to O, right? So this is equal now. So in the next one. once this is this condition is fulfilled the count will be increased to 1 why because this condition is fulfilled and it will go over here okay so now the value of count will become 1 now what will happen in the third iteration it will go to g okay g does not equal to o right so count would be 1 only after that it will go for i same case not equal c not equal and then for o once it goes for o the count will be count will become 2 now this would be what iteration so 1 2 3 4 5 6th iteration this would be 6th iteration in the 6th iteration the count value will become 2 and for 7th iteration p the value is not equal and for s the value is not equal so count will be 2 now once this is done once the loop runs for the range till 8 what will happen it will just come out and return the count and you know the value of count is what count is 2 right now so you can just take a pause over here and understand what is happening in the iterations i'll just take a pause over here and i'll just delete this because we don't need it okay so as soon as it returns the value over here the value is 8 then it will print the value is 2 sorry the total number of occurrence of my care which is this which is o is the number of count which is this and coming from over here okay which is 2 and that's why it has printed 2 so i hope you guys have understood it let us take off an another example so i'll take just i'll take uh, my name so my name is ravish rawat okay i'll just enter and what character i want to do so what is the most occurrence a i'll give a and you can see that the total number of occurrence of a is 3 so the main thing over here is this function in which we are comparing the values of the character to the string and are running it till the range of my string okay and then we are counting it so i hope you guys have understood this part and this is a very basic question and a lot of people ask this question so just take a pause try to understand it and if you want this code this code would be on my github uh, github and then from there you can download first i would suggest that you should work on it and after that you can take a look do not spend more than 10 to 15 minutes because that would be the good amount of time that you can think about this question otherwise just take a look practice and learn it so if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one